everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I have a review for you guys we are going to be reviewing the new berries and cream palette from Dominique cosmetics um, before we get started if you guys are not already subscribed please go ahead and hit that button down below I normally post videos every Monday and Friday you can also follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter and I'm gonna have those all linked down below for you guys as well so um, let's go ahead and start with the packaging that it came in this is my very first Dominique cosmetics palette I have been so interested in her brand. Uh, the past two palettes that she came out with were really pretty, but when I saw this, I knew right away this is going to be the palette that I tested out. So as soon as it became available online, I did purchase it. Um, this is the case right here. I think it is so pretty. I love the pink shiny reflective case. On the back, it does say berries and cream. You have the ingredients. Um, you have the shade colors right here along with the shade names. So take this out this is the packaging it's so pretty like my mouth dropped open when I opened my box because it is just so gorgeous the texture is definitely different than anything I've ever touched before um, I like that the berries and cream kind of get pops out a little bit so you can feel it as you rub over the the top um, on the back it's just the same and it has Dominique cosmetics on the back so you open it up you do have a full-size mirror here, and these are your shades. <sighs> They're so pretty. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get into swatches first, and then we'll go over the whole entire thing. Alright, so that was your swatches. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about this palette. This palette is $44. Um, she also did come out with two different lipsticks. I did not get those. Those are $18 a piece or you can get the complete bundle set um, on her website for $80. So this is available right now on DominiqueCosmetics.com. It's going to be available online at Sephora on December 4th and it's going to be in stores at Sephora on December 17th. This palette I did read on the back was made in the USA. I think that is really cool. Um, it's also cruelty free and it has a shelf life of 12 months. So in the palette, she did come out with 12 new shades. You get eight mattes, three shimmers, and then one matte with shimmer. Um, I don't know if that picked up on camera, so I did re-swatch it for you guys. Um, this is the matte with shimmer. It is the warm pie shade. All right, so let's go ahead and get to my thoughts. First of all, this palette, the packaging, is stunning. I have not been this excited about the packaging itself in a long time. Um, when I opened it up, my jaw literally dropped down. I was just like, it's so freaking beautiful. I love the ombre effect. I love the fact that this pops out right here. Um, it's just very, very sleek. It is a bigger palette than what I was expecting. I didn't know what I was expecting, actually, because this is my first Dominique Cosmetics palette. But for comparison purposes, um, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette right here. And this is the Dominique Cosmetics palette compared to it. So it definitely is going to be bigger. 
So I do like the mirror in here. Now, when I first saw the mirror, um, the shape had concerned me because I'm so used to palettes having a full size mirror. When they do shapes, sometimes it can get a little annoying. However, the mirror is still really big and I'm able to do my whole entire look in it. So I really, really like that. She did do new shapes for her pans for the eyeshadows. Um, however, they're still supposed to be the same amount of product as her other two palettes. Um, I actually kind of like the octagon look. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, and of course, it matches the mirror itself. So I think that's really cohesive. Now, let's talk about the eyeshadows. Oh my goodness. Number one, the colors in this palette are gorgeous. This just screamed my name immediately. Um, when I first got it in, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I did a look with Blueberry Muffin. I knew right away I had to get this shade on my lid. Um, so I did that. And little side note, I'm so excited because Kristen herself actually commented on my photo. I fangirled so hard. <laughs> Get a little teary-eyed thinking about it, but I was so, so excited. Um, so I had used the Blueberry Muffin. Now on my eyes today, um, I have Bittersweet, which is this one right here. I have Cherry Juice, which is this shade right here. I have Cranberry and Blackberry. And then I have uh, Sweet... And then I have Sweet Cream and Sugar Cookie as my inner corner highlight. They blend so beautifully. I am so in love with her formula. I had no issues blending any shade. Nothing got muddied. It was just perfect. Now, if you do not like fallout, this might not be for you because this does have a lot of fallout. Now that does not bother me. I can just brush it away and be about my business. I highly suggest if you get this palette that you're going to want to do your eyes first. You're definitely not wanting to do your foundation first because it will be a hot mess. I will insert a picture right here of the fallout I had just using this cranberry shade. Oh, it gave me so much fallout. Um, but that is not a real problem. Now when I do when I tapped my brush into the pan itself, I did have a lot of kick up as well. So those are the only two very minor issues that I had with this palette was the kick up and the fallout. Um, that is not a deal breaker for me. That takes nothing away from the palette. I still think it is a beautiful, amazing palette. All right, so let's talk about the matte with the glitter, the warm pie color. Now, normally I absolutely hate, hate mattes with a glitter in it. I think there's no point. You know, every time I blend it, all the glitter falls out anyway. It's just a huge mess. And I just think I don't like it. Um, however, with this, I did not have one problem. The glitter stayed intact. Whether I swatched it or I put it in my eye, the glitter was still in the matte. I don't know how she did it, but it was a huge success. The matte with the glitter is the absolute first shade that I have ever been able to use and been happy about. So I am super stoked about that. Um, now, Sweet Cream is more of a satin shade versus a matte, but you guys, this palette, every single shade feels like velvet when you touch it. It performs beautifully. It blends beautifully. The longevity of it. I'm able to wear my eyeshadow all day at work and come home and it still looks like I just did my makeup. And that means a lot because my work environment is rough. There is heat and water and just all kinds of mess going on in my job. Um, so the fact that it can last through that says volumes. I think $44 for this palette is a steal. It is just an amazing palette. I actually want to backtrack and go try the latte palette now um, because I am simply in love with her formula. Kristen Dominique did an amazing job and I am just, I'm a fan. I am a huge fan. I'm a fan of her company. I'm a fan of the way that she takes care of things, how she reaches out and comments on people's posts. She is just a very, very supportive person. And I completely stand by this brand and I love it so, so much. So bottom line, <laughs> do you need this in your life? If these are your colors and you are drawn to this palette, don't miss out. 
it's so beautiful it's so beautiful i have done some really nice looks with it and i will continue to use this this is definitely going to go in my top drawer um, with my main stash so very very happy with this purchase all right guys so that is it for this review i hope you found it helpful and if you did like this video please give it a big old thumbs up for me and i'll see you guys next time bye